Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Earthly Nutrition. Today we are following up our last video, Lose Fat Without Exercise Part 1, NEAT, with Part 2, DIT. So DIT stands for Dietary Induced Thermogenesis. We can define this as the increase in energy expenditure after food is ingested. So the digestion, the breaking down of nutrients, and the intestinal absorption, the bringing of nutrients into our bloodstream or lymphatic fluid, actually requires the input of energy from our own bodies. And depending on a food's nutritional composition, it requires more work for the body to break down and use. So knowing this, I designed the microvore diet to yield a high DIT, meaning that you guys will actually be losing some weight simply through the act of eating itself. Pretty cool, right? In today's video, I'm going to explain how the microwave diet accomplishes this, so you don't assume it's witchcraft, and then we'll talk about how it fits into your health plan. DIT values for separate nutrients are 0 to 3 for fats, 5 to 10 for carbs, and 20 to 30% for protein. These percentages represent the increase in occurrence of energy reactions, and therefore the heat that's produced by them. These percentages are nothing impressive, but it's their small contribution that will help out in our fat loss efforts. This is only one of the three mechanisms through which fat loss is achieved on the microwave diet. Both NEAT and planned exercise are just as important. Let's talk a little about why we see these ranges in DIT for certain nutrients. The most relevant is what happens in our small intestine. So in our small intestine, we have a membrane through which nutrients have to cross over either to get into our circulation, our bloodstream, or our lymphatic system. Some nutrients require a system called active transport, which requires ATP, so the input of energy, and sometimes a carrier protein as well. Two nutrients that require active transport are carbohydrates and protein. And this is one of the reasons why they have a higher DIT value. They require more work and energy from the body to get them across that membrane. Whereas a fat molecule doesn't require active transport, instead it uses passive transport, which doesn't require any ATP. This is why the DIT value for fat is lower. The difference between carbs and protein can be understood by knowing that protein is a more complicated nutrient. In the stomach, it requires hydrochloric acid and enzymes to start its breakdown. In the small intestine, more acid, more enzymes are required to break it down into its smallest components to be absorbed. It's a tougher pill to swallow for sure. DIT values for carbohydrates have been recorded higher than 5-10%, to even upwards of 30% like protein. And this would occur in more complex carbohydrates like grains and legumes. And speaking of food, you'll be happy to know that a DIT advantage is planned into the food guidelines in the microwave diet. So now that we know what nutrients have high DIT values, now it comes down to just choosing foods with nutrients with high DIT values. Have you guys ever heard of meat sweats? This is a perfect example of DIT in action because meat or muscular tissue is simply protein fibers. A food so rich in a high DIT nutrient will cause an increase in body temperature and may even lead to sweating, hence the term meat sweats. The microvore diet is plant-based and does not encourage the consumption of animal products because of the negative health consequences and the ethical and environmental arguments. However, we still get a DIT advantage without meat. In the microvore diet, we prioritize getting microdense foods as well as enjoying a variety of other plant foods and our heroes in the microdense food group are nuts, seeds, and legumes. Vegetables are also often called negative calorie foods for similar reasons, in that the energy required for their breakdown and absorption is often higher than the calories they contain. But nuts, seeds, and legumes are very powerful foods for weight loss because of the amount of protein and complex carbohydrates they contain. This is great also because they are highly satiating and keep you full between mealtimes. They are rich in micronutrients like vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which have their own favorable aspects for fat loss. And they contain prebiotic fibers, which feed our friendly gut bacteria. The microvore meal formula is helpful for people wanting to know how to make microdense, bioavailable, and symbiotic meals. The reason why legumes are suggested in these meals rather than starchy vegetables or grains is because legumes will lead to the highest DIT potential for that meal. You can still have grains and starchy vegetables sometimes, like if you're dealing with digestive issues and can't handle beans right now, or if you just simply don't want them all the time. But if you are wanting your meals to have that extra edge for fat loss, I would suggest using legumes and then nuts and seeds for your fat source. 
I was using avocados for my fat source for the longest time, but I recently switched to making a creamy sauce or creamy base out of hemp seeds and sunflower seeds because they are a little more nutritious and give my meals a higher overall DIT value. Oh, and I want to reassure you that just because fat doesn't have a high DIT value, this does not mean that it will cause weight gain or should be avoided. The fats in microvore foods are nutritious and necessary for organ structures and reactions critical for fat loss. You should never cut out fat to lose fat, it just doesn't work this way. You want to choose better foods rather than restrict or obsess over certain nutrients. We need everything. Alright, well that concludes our little combo about DIT. So DIT is not the only mechanism for fat loss that the microvore diet offers. It is just one small strategy that hopefully now you have a better understanding of. So remember, weight loss should fit into your health plan without it being number one priority. If you got anything out of this video guys, then please remember to give it a like and share it around for me. If you'd like to get my ebook, The Microvore Diet, you can do so through my website. To join our Earthly Nutrition community, you can press that red subscribe button, join our Facebook group, and add me on Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in once again today guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Go eat some good food. Be true to you. See you soon. Bye.